Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back downtown Kedapafos on a truly, truly spectacular day. And of course, we've got a nice can of the red stuff. They finally signed me up. They've seen the cents and they're going to pay us a euro a year. Now, without further ado, let's go and introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, her name is Miss Archin Grosivia Labo. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. Mr. Paul, what's wrong with your world? You're melting away. I am. What do you oh think of the weather, Grisivia Labo? The weather is burning me, by the way. It's so hot. But so nice. It is indeed, isn't it? We don't need the weather girl anymore because, of course, she's in downtown Kos. So a big, big shout out to you, Mr. Sean, and of course, Miss Dawn. I feel sorry for the beautiful cat called Miss Daisy, and of course, the little dog Bobo. You've left them back in uh, the Peak District, but of course, we understand that Bobo's got your little plastic friend. And you never know, you might click through to our about page and perhaps buy us a coffee or two. The CV of the booth. Bobo is going to buy a coffee. Or two. Well, he has done before. He's a very, very clever dog. Dog, indeed. My God, as long as he's got uh, the plastic card, I believe I could do for all the people. Well, I tell you I what, I'll gone. borrow Mr. Sean's plastic card and I'll let you take charge no, of the buying no, of the coffees. No, no. To borrow is different. Oh, to borrow is different. Right, we're on the Cade of Paphos Promenade. It really, really is a truly, truly spectacular day indeed. The sun is glistening down on that blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. The temperature is in and around 26 degrees and it's only going to go one way and that's up. The summer season has finally arrived and it is kicking into life. And I promise you that the downtown Cato Papos Promenade slowly but surely is coming back and it's coming back better than it ever was before. Feast your eyes and digest. Wow. Takes your breath away. There's a slight bit of haze in the sky. We're still suffering from a little bit of the remnants of the dust storm, but as you can see, there's a big, big cruise ship that's come into town. There's a wooden fishing boat coming into town with a few people parting on the top. And this is the spectacality and the beautiful area known as downtown Cato Pathos on a spectacular day indeed. And as tradition goes, Receiver the Booth is looking absolutely spectacular. What do you think of that outfit, Dayman? I think you may have seen it in various guises before, but she does look absolutely breathtaking. It's good. I'm not looking rubbishing. Rubbishing. Rubbishing, yeah, yeah. If you remember, we go way, way back. We see the booth, just so you understand. If you're new to the channel, the beauty on my right hand side, she speaks seven languages. Yeah, you heard me correctly, seven. And believe it or not, English is her worst. Correct. More fluent in the old English than you and me, but English is her worst. And she's actually a fully qualified English teacher and she is a professor of English literature. So she's a very, very clever lady indeed. But now and again, she confuses her hearing of the English words and her pronunciation of the English words. Yes. As I mentioned to Dame Anne the other day when we were sitting together, I would rather hear the Queen's English which is every lovely letter of that spectacular English language, not spectacular, wonderful. wonderful, wonderful. Spectacular is when you observe, sorry about it. But when you hear every single letter, we call it Queen's English, that's, it. that's the English that I would love to hear. Well, and it's the I King's English now, this. King Charlie. There we have are. To get, I have to get uh, used to it. You have to get used to it, you do indeed, yes. Yeah. Now, I was with a customer the other day, and, uh, well, I was laughing my socks off. I really, really was. And uh, I don't know how to tell you what he said, but I'm going to just say it. He said to me, you know, he didn't want to watch the coronation, but his wife did, so they watched it. Anyway, he said he remembered when the commemorative stamp, 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 stamp came out for Princess Diana. And he said he didn't mind licking that. 
but he certainly wasn't going to lick the commemorative stamp for Queen Camilla. Anyway, on that note, back to the most beautiful woman in the world, Misochin Christine Booth, and I was falling off my rocker when this gentleman told me. Anyway, feast your eyes and digest. That's the beautiful, beautiful blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea, and it looks absolutely spectacular. And uh, there is the, which one's that? That's the Ocean Vision. That's the big boy in the Paphos Sea Cruises arsenal. That's an all-inclusive luxury five-star cruise. Goes out in the daytime, goes out in the evening time. And the grand finale, the real spectacality of a show is on the Friday and Saturday nights when it goes out and you have a spectacular firework show. All inclusive, ranges from around about 65 euros up to about 80 euros if you're an adult and about half price if you are a little. And it's a great, great day out. Four hours of, well, fun and games, should we say. And one of these days, we are actually going to go on the tour. We've been in discussions with the man known as Major Tom. And uh, we said we can't spare four hours, so Sexy Roxy, that's his partner in crime, has promised to send a speedboat out to get us off that boat early. What the video is going to be, Mr. Paul, is going to be something especially for especially, especially videos for all of us. You know what I was thinking? What if we take our new friend, the mayor, with us? Now imagine that for a video. If we Why took not? him and his wife, Why Why and not? then we took them off on a speedboat and brought them back into the downtown Ketapapos Arbor, and perhaps he bought us a coffee or two. You see me? Actually, it's very nice when the mayor is um, aware what's going on, what sort of cruise is going around, and if he doesn't want to spend his own time more than half an hour or 40 minutes on that big bird boat, then he can always be replaced together with us from that very big boat, big boy, to the uh, harbour. On a speedboat, nice. yes, indeed. So we have to, we have to offer. We are, yes. So we're on the downtown Ketapapos promenade, and uh, well, I think you understand if you're feasting your eyes that it's truly, truly spectacular today, indeed. There are people wandering around. Obviously, they're in shorts and t-shirts and rather scantily clad. And uh, please, please, I mean, there's two ladies over there. I can see that they're going rather red. So please, please make sure you put plenty of sun cream on because if you come from the UK or perhaps if your name is Miss Anna Starr and you've come down from Poland where, you know, you want to feast your eyes on that sunshine and perhaps you want to get a bit of a suntan, but please, please get those high sun factors on for those first couple of days. Otherwise, you're going to suffer and, of course, you're going to go home Perhaps not so brown, but very, very sore and burnt. I think Hold on. That's the hat that I've tried the other day, Mr. I think it was, wasn't and it? And now they put it on Dolly, on the Monica. Well, they should have put it on you, because you're a bit of a Dolly. Yeah, but I then have to stand there for ages. Well, if they paid you perhaps 50 euros a day, it wouldn't be too bad. No, it's not enough. Not enough, no, not enough. She's got very, very greedy these days. So, click through to our about page if you want to buy us a coffee or a treat or two. And uh, perhaps even consider joining us as a superstar member where you can take all the troubles out of it and just contribute automatically on a monthly basis. And of course, you will entitle yourself to a superstar name like a duke or a king or a queen or perhaps a princess if your name's Princess Darley. And entitle yourself to special, special videos being made especially for you. Here we are on the downtown Ketapapos Promenade and it is a truly, truly spectacular place indeed. Plenty of restaurants, plenty of bars, plenty of gift shops and plenty of things to keep you occupied. Now, very shortly we're going to come to the end of the promenade and then we're going to transverse into the harbour area. And of course there's going to be a few superstars in there. And if you want to dance the Chachuchka with Ms. Ochin Grisivia and Abouf, that's the place to track us down and that's the place to dance the night away. Let's keep going because just down here are one or two street traders. They're our friends and we like to include them in the videos. We like to introduce you to them so that you understand who they are and what they do. The first guy coming up on the block, his name is Konstantinos. He's all the way from an island called Sakos. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's where they made the Mamma Mia film. Yes, that was the movie. That's where he's from. And he comes to Paphos in and around about May. And he stays here until about October and, uh, well, makes a fair sum of money and then goes back and sits on a beach. So there he is, the superstar known as Mr. Konstantinos. Let's go and have a word with him and see what he's up to. Hello. 
Are you busy? You must have been busy because I noticed Katerina's gone. Katerina, you can't play. Hold on, hold on. Mm. You're all right? How are you doing? Are you doing well? Yeah, good. You're almost as bald as me. Yeah. Almost, almost, almost. That's the man from the Harbour Restaurant, no. greatest Harbour Restaurant in the world. And that's a man called Malcolm. We just spotted him on the very end. Yeah. We'll go and see him in a minute. Anyway, Constantinos, what do you do? Do you write names on grains of rice? Yeah, but then busy. Don't say to Katarina. If you say busy, Katarina doesn't know. Otherwise, she'll be here taking out the money. I see, I see, I see. So we go to see Mr. Malcolm. So let's go and say hello to Malcolm. He's just over there. This gentleman accosted us on the coastal pathway the other day. And I think he's forgotten us already. Or he's regretting that he accosted us. He suddenly realised, there he is. You all right, Malcolm? How are you doing? Nice to see you. Cheers. Good to see you. Good to see you. Very good, thank you. Yeah? You're at it again today? We're at it every day. Good. You're never going to stop us. And when you start, do it every single Absolutely. day. I forgot to say, I was going to invite you to my show. I've, I've been doing two, a couple of shows here. Where? I'll show at the Coliseum. Right. Last night and, and Saturday. So I forgot to say, you know, you, you might... You have to message us and we'll come down and have a look. Messages. Yeah? How long are you here for? I'm going back today. Ah, right. So I'm back to sunny Manchester. Back to sunny Manchester. And I'm right. going to Spain then at the end of the month for two months. Uh, down to Valencia to stay down. And you're going to start the YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Just to get a little bit something sorted out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do it. Message us. Yeah. We'll come and have a laugh. Absolutely. We'll make fun of you and you can make fun of us. What's your name again? Paul. Oh, okay. There we are. He's, he's taking a piss already. There we are. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. You have a great day. Thanks, Malcolm. Thank superstar. A true, true superstar that we met on the coastal pathway the other day. If you go hunting back all the way from sunny Manchester, he intends to set up a YouTube channel. So we wish him all of the luck in the world. Where are we now? This is Jenny, the best. Greatest smile in downtown Paphos, and she is braiding the life out of this young lady. And then she's going to have a good wiggle and a waggle in her pocket and see just how much money she can alleviate from her. That's some of the previous victims, and here's some of the twines and some of the twirls. And if your name is Miss Izzy and you're coming to town next week, she's all ready for you, and she's quite happy to find the letters and write, I love you, Mr. Allen, into your hair. Superstars, got a great smile, and I'm sure when she's done with, she's going to look even more beautiful than she already is. Thanks. Let's keep going. Superstar known as Mr. Chris. Hello. How are you doing? You all right? All right yeah. There's a bit of a racket going on yeah, in the background, yeah. isn't there? Look at that. That's the ocean vision. That's it. Mr. Chris says it's like this every single day. Oh my goodness, we're not going on that boat. It'll blow my eardrums out, won't it? Rock you. Now, we've got to be very, very careful. Otherwise, we're going to get one of those strikes off YouTube. What does Mr. Chris do? He is the greatest, greatest sponge salesman in the world. And he has the worldwide franchise for selling these lovely little sponges all over Paphos. And if you want one, get down to downtown Paphos Promenade. And while you're at it, perhaps buy a seashell or two. Superstar amongst superstars. Thanks, Mr. Chris. And we'll see you a bit later. Come on, Gustavo and Abouf. We've got to keep going. Listen to that noise in the background. Wow. It's loud enough. And Gracibi Labouf is going to dance the night away. There's Mr. Hector, and he is caricaturing the life out of somebody. And there's some of his previous victims. Even a dog, Julia Roberts, has been to town, and so has Rowan Atkins. And guess what? He's even got a picture of me and her. So, we don't want to get too close to that boat. Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Downtown Keta Papo. And I promise you, today is a truly, truly spectacular day. The sun, well, that's glistening down across the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. That's the most beautiful woman in the world, Miss Ochin Grisivi Alibu. Let's get the big hello. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again, and if you're wondering what all of the noise in the background is, that's the big boy, 
known as Ocean Vision and they are partying the afternoon away. They've been out from 11 o'clock, they're back in the harbour and they're having the final sing-song and the final hoorah. And there is the Jolly Roger coming in up its rear end. And of course they've had a great, great day out as well. This is downtown Ketapapos Harbour on a truly, truly spectacular day indeed. Let's see what the beauty has got to say. I think since the weather settled, by the way, it's going to be much more pleasant to go out with the boat and the little or big boat. And these people were waiting for a settled down of the weather, by the way, in order to come off to the blue, blue Mediterranean. They are indeed. They're waiting for that weather to calm down. This week, luckily, it's calmed down. And that's it. Summer season has begun. Let's get a word with that man. Are you busy? Be honest, oh, hold on a minute. To be honest, no, not really. It's quiet. Look for Ocean Vision. It's busy? Not really. Uh, if it's not, yeah. if it's busy, well, <laughs> you're doing all right. You see? Are you Look. doing all right? Look. Yeah. It's quiet. <laughs> it's, quiet. it's quiet. You'll get busy. You'll get busy. I promise you. I see. I see the people now. Yeah. They're coming to me. Eh, thirty-five euro. Thirty-five euro. Make us the discounts. Well. What does Mr. Yanis do? He promotes lots and lots of the boat trips in downtown Papua. So please, please, you can see he's angry. Please, please come down and, well, buy a boat trip or two because he's got plenty of trips for you. And if your name is Mr. Andy and you've got a beautiful partner in crime called Miss Linda, well, he's actually got a catalog here as well. And it's especially for you. I was chatting with Mr. Yanis the other day. And if you stop here and have a word with him, as you can see, there are lots and lots of boat cruises which you can have someone to sail you out for exactly. How much is that for a few hours, Yanis? That boat there? This is a half day cruise, four hours, sunset cruise, four hours, a full day cruise, six hours. Right. The price so, with not food. Food is extra. Food is extra, okay. Yes, but it won't be that much extra. Yes, so nice little boats, and that could be the perfect boat for Mr. Andy and Miss Linda. So Come and see that man and put a smile on his face, as you can see. Thanks, Janice. Thank you are a star. On the way back, we'll stop for orange juice. No problem. There we are. Thank it would be cheaper to pay me a euro a day. That's our little joke with it, by the way. He's promised to buy us a drink every day. On the way back, we'll have an orange juice. On the way back. See you in a bit. So, Yanis is in a good mood and an angry mood at the same time, Grisivi. Well, he, he's working here long hours, I understand. And this boy is trying to make his uh, life earning, as we say. And that's it. Obviously, he cannot do more discount. This is what he was saying. That's and what I he was understand. saying. Yeah. We that's understand what he was saying. him well. Yeah. yeah. There is enough. all of the boat trips are on a fixed price, and you know their commissions obviously are built into that price. And if they then discount, there won't be any commission. So there was no point in them giving you a discount. Now, there's a superstar in Ketapapos Harbour. There he is. His name is Mr. Philites. Let's go. Yes, let's go and check. It's him. You're right, Philites. Yeah, he's got a great, great smile. He's in charge of promoting the Evis Jeep Safari, probably the greatest Jeep Safari in downtown Paphos. The Acamas, the Adonis Waterfall Bass, two of the most famous attractions in Paphos. That's the man to come and see, and he'll make sure that you are all right. Welcome. Correct? Welcome. Any time is open. Excellent. Thanks for your supporters, and we'll see you a bit later. And if you go hunting, you all right, sir? What's your name? Yes, Peter. 